Alrighty, got another problem here. So for this one, we are uh, connecting uh, some motion with some vectors. All right. So we have a car that's going to move around some amount. Uh, we want to figure out how far away is it in the end, and what direction would we have to look if we wanted to see it. All right, so let's think about it. Oh, I don't want blue. So first. It's always a good idea to draw a picture. So it says, first the truck goes 24 kilometers north, then 17 kilometers west, and then 29 kilometers south. So I expect the car is going to end up somewhere over here. So I can express these three portions of the trip as vectors. I'll call this D1. On the first leg of the trip, the driver did not move at all in the x-direction, and they moved straight up. On the second portion of the trip, the driver moved due west 17 kilometers. I express that as a negative, because this is my positive x-direction. So then I can get the, uh, dis the vector for the third trip, go straight down as 0 comma negative 29. So then the total displacement vector and the total displacement vector is this. So I should expect that I get negative x and negative y coordinates equals uh, 0 plus negative 17 plus 0 is negative 17 and 24 plus negative 29 is negative 5. Okay. Um, so uh, to get the distance all we do is uh, take the magnitude. That's no D. Take the magnitude of our final displacement vector and that will be 17 squared plus 5 squared. You can work out whatever that happens to be. Uh, and then we want to know the direction of the truck's displacement. So remember, when we are dealing with uh, this theta coordinate, you have to be kind of careful. So let me draw it again a little bigger. So here's my vector. And uh, let's say I, w I can go, I can look for either of these two angles, but I'll look for this one. I'll call this some angle phi. We pronounce that phi. So um, whenever I am looking for the angle in these triangles, I always just kind of redraw the triangle. I kind of rotate it in my mind. So here's that same triangle right here. This, this is that triangle. Here's that angle phi. Opposite of my angle phi is my y coordinate. My y coordinate, or is my y length. It's my length of this part right here. That's de uh, described by negative 5. So the length here is 5. Adjacent to the angle is my x coordinate. Remember, just kind of rotate this triangle in your mind. So this triangle is describing this situation down here. So then I can say that phi equals the tangent inverse of the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is 5 over 17. I expect I should get a pretty small angle because this x coordinate is kind of dominating here. It's almost pointed directly to the left, so it should be pretty small. Let's see what it comes out to be. Tangent to negative 1, 5 divided by 17. I get 16 degrees. 16.4 degrees. So what direction do you have to look? Um, you could either say 16.4 degrees south of west or you could say 180 
plus 16.4 degrees equals uh, 196.4 degrees from the x-axis. And remember, at the end of the day, we measure, almost always measure, angles from the x-axis. Um, that's the one, that's kind of the default, um, so that's probably the best answer, but either is technically correct.